Greetings, this is August 10th at 9 p.m. I'm just doing an early overview. Uh, this is a photograph I took of the chasm area about a week and a half ago. And you can see by the big bar cam, not much has changed. And I think that's got people just overwhelmed with the smoke and uh, I'm hoping for a wind change in the very near future that may bring you some clearing. This is the update for 5.37 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, we're looking at the perimeter of the Elephant Hill wildfire. We can see a lot of intensity on the eastern flank, the northeastern flank uh, around the Upper Loon Lake area, the southwestern flank around Highway 99, Highway 97, and now over the last couple days uh, back at Boston Flats. Here's the numbers. 140,962 hectares involved. Uh, that's the first time we've gotten into that digit range. And 28,072 hot spots uh, calculated at this time. I just want to jump in and say that since this afternoon's update. So uh, there's been some activity. I haven't run the numbers yet. I'll hopefully do that later on. And uh, you can see how much more territory is involved at this stage. Let's zoom in and look at these areas of intensity. Here we are at Highway 97, Highway 99. Uh, I was seeing infrared. Uh, approximately 500 meters uh, south of Highway 99. I'm only seeing one uh, hotspot now. That's in the last 6 to 12 hours. We're only looking at the most recent developments in this update. Still working in troublesome spots. However, we're looking at either reignition, uh, controlled burning, or spread of random natural fire heat sources. This is the six hour update, the most recent, and I'm just looking in there to see if I see any uh, any of these infrared controlled signatures, uh, the patterning that we've been talking about. That's difficult to see, so I'm going to interpret this as an ongoing active uh, battle on this flank. We're jumping over to Clinton and in the 12 hours prior, no hot spots. That's very good news. Uh, the 24 hour map uh, may show smoldering and may show uh, controlled burns in the area, but those are longer term and have, we've already looked at those. Now we're jumping over to the chasm. This is in the last 12 hours, no new hot spots. Uh, again, those two might be out in the southeast, about three kilometers away, but we're only looking at new developments uh, within the last 12 hours as indicated by this satellite system. So here's where the major activity has been going on in the northeast flank, uh, south of Upper Loon Lake, um, a lot of new development. I am going to suggest that I see some patterning in there, some, some controlled signatures that we become used to. None of the horizontal or vertical, these are all potentially angled or small groups. Um, we're now looking at the six hour map of the same time period. We've eliminated the 12 hour old infrared and it is a very active and volatile situation right there. Uh, it's ongoing. These are actions that have occurred in the six hours prior to 5.37 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now we're going down to the eastern flank. Uh, this is that struggle at the edge of the Dead Man River uh, Canyon. We're up on the plateau. Uh, crews have been holding this back. Um, I'm seeing the 12-hour activity prior to this update. Still, And uh, now I've I want to see the whole day. How has this been going on for the last 24 hours? And there you see these uh, infrared uh, control or strategic signatures that are uh, visible as patterns horizontally and some vertically over towards Arrowstone Park. Jumping down to the southern flank, uh, 
the area about four kilometers, five kilometers west of Highway 97, Boston Flats region has recently erupted over the last, let's say, 24 to 36 hours. Um, over the 12 hour map, it's looking better. Um, there's not a lot of spread. And we saw up in the northeast corner there by um, Arrowstone Hills, Cash Creek Hills, those spots also evaporated because there's no new activity there. Um, let's see if we can go to six hour time update. So, and here we can see no new development on the Cache Creek Hills east of Cache Creek. Uh, very good news. That's uh, a big pat on the back for the crews working in that area. This was uh, troublesome. They had uh, the wind against them and they did it. So, um, there are areas in there that are still smoldering. This is going to take months of, of swamping and and monitoring uh, but I am seeing those two spots uh, in the six hour map those are new uh, heat uh, infrared isolated hot spots showing in the region that they're working on to the west of Boston Flats. Okay this is a new area that we haven't looked at before this is uh, we're going to look at a webcam at south of the Purcells between Valhalla and the Kootenays and you can see a couple of fires uh, going in the Purcells uh, near the Kootenay area and a little bit north I think that's uh, the Goat Park and it, a beautiful area I mean it's it's incredible but they are suffering from smoke as well and this beautiful shot came off the Drive BC webcam and I guess just to let you know that the Sun still shines on Valhalla be safe everyone take care know your position plan your escape have your resources ready and look out for each other thank you very much